Howell is a rising R&B sensation who will be performing at the Promontory tonight. And he joins us now with more on his musical journey, the creative process, an upcoming album, and we want to welcome you to Chicago. Thank you. This is your first time here. It is, first time, and first time on the news, actually. Oh, okay. well, welcome, welcome. Well, see, we Thank treat you. you better than you do in your hometown in Memphis, okay? <laughs> Tell us about this creative process, because this has mm. really been a journey that you've kind of had to form on your own. Absolutely. You didn't come mm -hmm. from being um, scouted and, and, and transformed, you mm -hmm. will, by some music executive. Absolutely. Um, it just started out um, just making music. I met my producer, shout out to Trey Love, um, 16 years old. I've always been a writer. I've always loved music. I've been singing since I was seven. Um, just started making music, just recording a lot of songs, a whole lot of songs. I met my manager, Lester Pace, uh, back in 2017. I had all these records recorded, and I wasn't planning on putting them out. Like, I thought, like, oh, nobody's really trying to hear this right now. And, like, I think, you know, it could be better and all that. He came along, and he was like, no, like, this is phenomenal. Like, you got to put this music out. Um, put the music out three years later. I mean, I've been promoting it since I put it out, but we ran into quarantine and, you know, COVID yeah. and they kind of slowed everything down. But I've just been, you know, promoting it myself, um, getting out doing shows, started doing open mic nights and now that's progressed, you know, to sold out shows, which is amazing. Um, three years later and I'm just still pushing and promoting and just figuring out what works for me as an independent artist. Yeah, you, you know? gotta you gotta get out there and hustle, right? Absolutely, I mean, yeah. So you've got a, a new album that you're working on right now. Yes. Tell us how your music kind of evolved and what the new album's about. Um, it's definitely more in depth. Okay. Um, um, you know, and you, you're starting to like see more of my artistic side of, because our if you if you tune into uh, Red Room, that's the name of the album. Um, it's like super, super like heavy R&B, mm -hmm. and I feel like the new album shows more of my versatile side, and you know, just exploring and the growth with my writing as well, and you know, melodies are amazing. Mm -hmm. It's just you know, it's just. 2.0, I feel like. Gotcha. I feel like, you know, a lot of people really don't, mm -hmm. uh, a lot of new artists are not really into R&B. They're more into the rap style yeah. of music. But, the, I mean, this is where the the, the, mm -hmm. the love comes from. Yeah. Yes. That feeling. Yeah. I mean, yeah, like, where did you get this idea that this is what uh, you wanted to do and not go the different route? Well, for one, I'm from Memphis. That's, yeah, yeah. you know, that's so all day. Mm -hmm. um, but I just... When I think of music, I think of like what it means to me, which it, it's memories for me. Like, you know, I remember listening to certain songs or Johnny Taylor or uh, Al Green or, you oh, know, yeah. whoever it is, Luther mm -hmm. Vandross. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter. Like, uh, my, I remember moments that I had, like, with my family, like my mom cooking, and I know, okay, she's playing Jerry LeVert when she's cooking spaghetti or, you know, it's just any little thing. So I've always said that I wanted to do that with my music and I wanted to be able to communicate and, and make moments, you know, with my music for other people as well. So exciting. I know you've got the show tonight. Mm -hmm. We're obviously not going to let you go without <laughs> performing here first. So don't go <laughs> anywhere because we're going to hear you in just a minute. Yes. Uh, thank you so much for joining us. We're going to get information for you and for the show tonight up on your screen, I believe. Did I already do? Yes. Oh, it's coming up. There we go. Uh, yeah, the show tonight uh, at 6 o'clock at the Promontory. There's the social media handles and his website as well. So make sure you follow him. Thanks for being here. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you for having me. Yeah.